Hello and welcome. We are in the very first race of the Nick Nieben, I think he's calling it the K5 Championship. It is his league, and uh, it is season zero, a bit of a test season, sort of. We are in the late model at Stafford. I just downloaded this place about an hour ago, but i uh, been doing some practice. I'm currently, I think it was 11th on time with a 20.609. Top 28 make the race. If I don't qualify in the top 28 of 60 people here, I don't make it. So this could be a short video. I'm not typically too great on short tracks. Um, I'm glad that I've had a little bit of experience in the late model already because I was a season or two ago wanting to improve my short track racing. So I chose this car, and it's a good thing I did for this particular case. Because it's not the first time I'm in this car, at least. Green flag, but here green we flag. go. This is very important. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Fastest lap for Ross. 20.8. The leader's just done 20.8. Mm, overdrive drove it a little bit. Do better, I think. Pressure's high. That's going to be borderline, that lap. V10, you've just done a 20.7. Hmm. I think first lap's going to be better. I got tight. That's the 20. You're currently what was, what was that lap I got? That was a <laughs> 20.695 is what I'm going with here. I'm currently 11th. We're going to watch it drop, probably. Hopefully not below 28th. This is intense. I've never done go or go home qualifying before, I don't think. A new level of pressure when it comes to qualifying. Looks like a lot of people have gotten their laps in. I think I might be okay. I think I might have made it. Very close to Gavin, looks like. I'm surprised this number 30 didn't get in the fives. He had, I think, either the first or second fastest time in the practice beforehand. Mitch up there, always a wizard when it comes to short track racing. Not too shocking. We're ahead of Nick. How on earth did that happen? Uh, looks like he should make his own race. I know he was worried about that. Uh, let's see, one, two, I, uh, where is the cutoff spot? I wish there was a number here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So right around here right now is the cutoff, I think. I'm not going to be able to keep, uh, tabs on that too much, but seeing who makes it. It's looking like Kyle, unfortunately, might not make it. Looks like he's on the outside looking in. Yeah. That's too bad. Rooting for him, but looks like he's on the outside. I mean, I'm sure he won't be here next week. <laughs> be true. Never felt so much pressure. You four. <clears throat> yeah, that was a whole different feeling, but it looks like we have made it. That's the end of the session. Right, going to be next to Gavin, or you know, just uh, right behind him. 
Yeah, we're going to be on the outside of Gavin. Whew. Nick, a row or two back. Two rows. You yeah. know. Man. All right, so we qualified 12th. Okay, rules for main race. If you cause multiple cautions, you may not be allowed to come back next week. That was fair. Who's the person that barely made it? Oh, congrats to the 38. Well, Eric, just barely. Sneaking in there. Really stinks for the guys that just missed out. 29. We've got a meaningless heat race right now. Um, I guess it's like these guys, because the way that uh, the leagues are set up, or how you do this, I guess, maybe this qualifying style, you have to have a heat race. So it looks like those guys are maybe just having some fun. The uh, you almost made it race. Uh, <laughs> Kyle almost was able to win. So these are the numbers I'm running here. I got 10 to 1 yeah, and 52. Big bias. No one in the C race is going to make it anyway, but it might have been fun to do a little. Consolation race, even though you don't actually get to get in. <laughs> I got some French fries I might munch in on here. It's like running right around my dinner time. <laughs> so um, pardon me if that's a bad I was running 20.4. <laughs> this new track for me for a loop. It'd be fun if this was like a 20 lap race and one person got to qualify. Or give me additional points, one or the other. Weird how this works. I guess they're just going to do three laps and then. I'm saving see players until lap two. Track 10 base, one, 17. Wonder why it wouldn't let me join, is it like. He's up here. You'll need to get on with this. I love how he put this in here just because he had to, and people are legit going to run it. Oh, I'm going to run the hell out of it. Catch up to car number. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good practice. It's a little bit of extra practice for guys. I qualified 30th, dude. This is all I get. Welcome to the club, buddy. I wonder if this affects uh, their... At least we tried. Um, what you call it? There's some good cars in this race. This uh, running order. They're, I wonder if, like, if they finish ahead of each other. At least we got to try. I'll change things up. I don't know. I was a little worried. Yeah, it wasn't my I best lap I've ever run, but it looks like it was enough. Yeah, I qualified 28th for the Stafford and Cranity race. I was really hoping to get back in, but it'll be fun to watch. I'm a little nervous. Uh, my short track racing isn't the greatest. But I feel like I should at least be able to hold the line and not be the person getting kicked out. <laughs> Hopefully. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and watch this, see what we got going on. <laughs> We're gonna use it up even more for him. Okay, I see. So, these are all the guys that didn't make it. They're all gonna be in it <laughs> if they chose to run. Okay, I misunderstood. I, for some reason, I thought there was like four people on track earlier. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Better to show the man, the more fun it will be for me, which means I keep doing these. You know, check his way home. Oh, we got people making contact in this heat race. You know, may not count for anything on the stat sheet, but still running into people. Even in a meaningly, meaningless race, maybe they'll remember that. <laughs> then again, you know, who knows if everybody's going to come back next week for the next short track race. We got four races in this uh, league. This, uh, well, this uh, season of Sorry, the league. Buddy. Sorry. Um, kind of season zero test type deal. Is Kyle running the meaningless race? Where is he? Forgot there's so many people and you have to scroll down. Yeah, he's uh, giving it a go. He would have done pretty well too, I think. That's too bad. Because he's usually pretty decent at the uh, short tracks. So. Come on, Nick, let me Too bad he couldn't let make it. In, Nick. <laughs> Give this man a provisional. Did I not put on the show for you? Yeah, Kyle would have been good. He was just barely on the outside. Okay, at least give me my donut. 
Maybe I'll have a chance next uh, next week to make it in. I'm gonna be on the outside. That's not very fun. But I mean, it's obviously a really long race, so it's not like I'm gonna be out on the outside stuck there for 150 laps. I don't know if I've ever done a uh, a long length short track race. To be honest with you, I don't know if I have. Yeah, thanks, yeah, Nick. You guys have fun, man. Huh. Just sit in the car. I don't know if I'm going to run around. I only really got a couple minutes. I guess we got time. Sure, tracking to get a couple laps in, even if it's uh, <laughs> not very much time. There's a car approaching. Car outside. Clear up top. Car outside. Stay low. Still there. Hold your line. Outside is clear. This uh, track, like I said, I just bought it an hour ago for this race. I've been needing to, though, because there's ahead. times where I could have run this place but chose not to buy it. But it's about time. Seems like a good enough track. Well enough. It's actually not quite like a lot of short tracks. It feels a little different, maybe. It's probably just because I'm in this car, though. This car handles short tracks differently than something like an Arcatel would. Not feeling too bad, though. I, I did practice a little bit um, holding an outside line. Almost didn't have a choice during the open practice beforehand because there's 60 people at the time. Everyone's everywhere all at once. Good movie, by the way. Everything Flow everywhere all at once. Low. I recommend it. Remember, only set is what you start with, so be smart. Alright, so you get one set of tires is what I'm hearing from that. Alright. Interesting. That definitely is going to be important to remember. Hmm. All right, let's hope I don't make a mess of this. I'm doing an all right job. Dang, how we want it? Looks like it. All right. Go, on, go, on, go, buddy. Let's go. Session last lap. Have that ready. Yep. Thanks for uh, putting this all together, mate. You have no tires. Starting in front of me. I have that exact same message. What about the people starting behind you? That's what I was going to ask. So they're uh. Well, they'll probably get collected in the wreck. So. Seventy-five huh. minutes. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Ten four. Follow car number oh right, that's what I was going to say. It's going to be real fun to see all the different perspectives from this race. A lot of Nick viewers, in addition of course Nick and Gavin, have their own channels. Lots of different viewpoints to see in this race, from this race. Looks like a second gear start. Gavin go. I thought he was on my inside. Why oh, we got like different people? Someone drop out or something? What's going on? Weird. Something weird's going on with the running order. Too fast for curves, guys. Just keep that in mind. Can't worry about that now. Got a race to start.
inside. Stay high. Still inside. <laughs> Stay high. Run over the back of anyone. Clear inside. The wall either. You're in the top ten. E ten. Major checkups here. Not trying to run anyone over, of course. The leader's just done it. Twenty point eight. That lap was. We got tires to think about. Don't forget. I gotta remember that. Just driving a short track for me is using one hundred percent of my brain. <laughs> so not much room to start thinking about tires usually. Right. So far, so good. No cautions, which is kind of awesome. You've just done a twenty-one point four. Might have to get around this guy. Is in a little bit of touch in front of him to Tabasco guy ahead. <laughs> no, you can't take the time to look at who's who. Really? That's the fastest lap. Your lap time was 21.2. Okay, car outside. to refuel. 58 minutes. Stay low. The There's a car on the high side. Clear up top. All right, made that pass. He made it easy on me, thankfully, because I was not very good at it. So it wasn't too aggressive. So we're just hopefully going to get some laps in here. Try to be smooth. Ooh, guy in the wall. That's what I'm going to try to avoid. Avoid getting into the wall like that. Got Gavin behind us. I imagine he'll probably be better than me seems to do better with these late models and with short tracks than I do, so I don't anticipate him being back there forever. V9. I'm doing alright. Alright, we're in ninth place. That's pretty solid. I can definitely live with that. see how people fall off. I'll probably fall off really bad because I don't know the first darn thing about saving tires in this car. Um, I'm just hoping that I can keep it off the wall and that'll do my uh, long run some favors. Maybe some other people will start damaging their car by bouncing it off. I'm trying to be on the right rear, but it's proving difficult. Not too much power in these, uh, what you call them, the late models. Gavin's holding back there. He might just be riding for now. Probably saving tires better than I am. Was, uh, Trying to get on the uh, apron a little bit. I think that might help with the uh, tire situation. If I can get some rotation, just clipping the apron a bit. You can do that here at Stafford. Um, I've learned from my practice and from watching, well, 
Nick and Gavin <laughs> for a bunch of laps. Always watching their videos. Okay, and I've watched this track be run a nice handful of times. So you know I've never actually driven here myself. This is my first ever race here. I've been able to see it before, which is useful. Might be getting a bit too aggressive right now. I think I need to be a little easier. Remember how many laps we've got ahead of us. Lap times are pretty consistent. That is to say, a lot. Not too much side-by-side -side action at the moment, but I don't think anyone's going to be too interested in fighting a whole bunch this early. Ooh, I missed the corner there. That's oh, great. I don't get us a runoff though. So I think last lap my uh, my corner wasn't that good either. That lap time was twenty one point three. Get it rotated. Oh, we got a we got a move. That was quite a move. That was quite a jump to the inside. I was not expecting that level of aggression this early. Maybe he just feels like he's just being held up too much. He's really trying to get around him. He wants that track position. That helped us catch up a little bit, but... Thing too noteworthy. Great experience, though. Running this many laps, the only way to get better is to get seat time. So, okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty we value that for what it is. Oh, and we have our first caution. All right, we will be on the inside. Where the crash is. Some markings on the wall right there. We'll be on the inside. Like it. Tires to change. The car is full of fuel, so we don't have to worry about that. There's just no pitting here today. Unless you got damage, I suppose. I had to learn how this pit road works, too, because it's got a bit of a strange one. So, I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling all right. Closed. Pit road is closed. That's right. Nick did say he was going to shorten the cautions. Single file restart, too. Oh, that's a good reminder. Single file uh, restarts. The way Nick likes them. I like it, too. So it doesn't matter, inside or outside. That's right. I am talking nonsense. I completely forgot. Great first run. I agree. That was a good first run. Usually if there's going to be wrecks, it'll happen right off the start. People haven't gotten uh, into the rhythm yet. That was a very nice first run. Still got a lot to go. A lot to go, but... Uh... Anybody know what the strength of field for this is? Uh, I showed it. Get ready. One on the right. I don't know if that's right or not. It should be. The pace right, car is in. Be ready. We're going green. This is a good start. Green, 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 green. green. We got two wide action in front of us. Seeing if we can uh, sneak through if he makes it through, but oh, contact, contact, 
Sketchy. Outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Realize it's a hundred and fifty lap race, right? So I wanted to take that opportunity if I could, if they're side by side, but wasn't looking like there was any room for me, so backing off. Though it is a long race, the uh, opportunity to pass might be at a premium because seeming like it's going to be a uh, tough task. Everybody on the same setups and everything. Open a turn, making sure I'm getting on the brakes well enough to get this thing rotating without the steering wheel. Still hanging out in ninth. Got some good drivers in here for sure. best corner there. I got tight. Exit. Oh, we got contact. Go low. The contact flag is out. They want Yikes. you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. It's a long race. After all. <laughs> all right, there's too many Tabasco right, cars in there. Well, that's a position for us. Uh, not how one envisions making a pass, but counts all the same. I didn't do anything. I wasn't part of that, thankfully. I was able to get around it down below. They spun up the track. Too short for a steer. I was just uh, experimenting there. Still haven't quite figured out the uh, RPMs of this too well. Meaning, like, I can't, like, second nature just kind of, like, listen to the car and um, kind of peripheral vision it when it's time to shift. Some of the cars I've run enough to kind of get the feel of it in that way. But uh, not enough time in this car. To feel completely second nature to me yet. I imagine we'll be getting a, a lap shaved off of the caution here in a moment. There's Nick back there, so see him on our relative. He's presumably uh, making his way forward. Went down low with, with the 30, 30 and he just came across my nose. I think you ran into the back of them, but uh, road is closed. I could have seen it wrong. I'm focusing on my own stuff after all. Sure looked like to to me. Let's bunch it up a little, guys. Back of them, but one left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race yeah, I agree. The single file restart at the top. Make the left pay off. Huh? That's true. A little weird that we restarted last time. I was on. Turn two still. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay. Post carry ready. Off. Time to green. do your job. Oh, good blinking. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Eighth place. Guy's bumper. Can't really do much with it though. I'm gonna try and stay behind you, Wesley. Just 
Cop times are pretty consistent. Not really trying to move up. I'm trying to save myself for later. Interesting information. Getting stuff for later. Getting tight on the exit. I'm just over driving it though. You need to wait to get on throttle a little longer. Three and four, I believe. This is fun, though. P8. I bet Gavin's doing a much better Lap job of saving his tires back there. He's never been like pushing it real hard and ending up on my bumper. I bet he's doing a great job of it. I should be doing that too, but I don't know much about saving tires on short tracks or in the late model. All I know is trying to be on the right rear and that's what I'm trying to do. So I kind of like take the apron a little bit and try to be aggressive on throttle at the right times. Not enter too hard. Just kind of doing what I know. Probably what I should be doing is just going softer in general though. It's always a lot to learn. I'll of course be watching their perspectives, so I'll probably learn something from that. Kind of on their bumper here, but they're kind of just stacking up. It's happening. Up. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Man, passing is going to be hard. But, uh. Having to earn it. Something. Something very real about that. Having to earn, earn the spot. Work hard at it. It's a fun challenge. Got a peak, maybe. It's like he thought about maybe sticking the nose there. It's looking a lot like how he wrecked the last guy, if that is indeed how it went down. Gavin's pretty close to us behind. Getting bunched up here. I feel like uh, something might be about to break. <laughs> Someone's gonna make a move somewhere. Might be Gavin on me if I keep having bad laps like that. Oh, we got a pass attempt, maybe? Nope, doesn't quite get the nose there. That was at 
Just, uh, need mistakes out of them and I'm not seeing any. Need someone to overdrive a corner or something? Shall go to the bottom? Leave something open like that, but... Hmm. I mean, that was just good short track racing. I'm just saving a ton. That lap time was 21.3. Get on the brakes pretty good there, got a little sideways. Probably scared Gavin a little bit. Approached the uh, 84 a little more than I would have liked. Evan's real close now. Hmm. Trying to hit my marks. Still not getting any major mistakes in front of us. Your last lap time was at 21.3. Since I say that, I almost got my nose in there. Maybe I gotta set something up. Maybe take a, a corner a little wider. Get a run first. I got tight there. Oh, move up here? Not quite. Almost. Maybe I do a fake. Scare him. A little bit heavy on the apron there, but then so was I. <laughs> Gavin's on us again. That lap was at twenty one point four. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Oh, they're real close up there. Making me nervous. desk just moved and made me mess up the corner. My desk is on a hardwood floor. I've tried weighing it down so it doesn't do that, but I'm just yanking the wheel so hard. Seems like that 42 is just holding up everyone just a tiny bit. Oh, there he goes. Go low. Yellow flag is out. Well, that's two wrecks that have happened directly in front of us. Okay. I don't really know what that was, but it didn't help my screen. You never touched me. Uh, I don't think you need to dump me to pass me there. Yeah, they. Hmm. It did look kind of strange. What'd you say about happening? Might have been net code or something. Because it looked like he didn't quite touch him. It looked like it was really close. Maybe net code made it happen. Well, gained another spot. Got a lucky dog coming around here some at some point. Trying to run on the lighter patch of track that's 
Yeah, Wesley, you never touched him. One to go. That's oh, hot. He kind of overreacted like he wasn't going to get hit. So we're in seventh now. Almost halfway through this race. Very interesting. So we got me, Gavin behind me, and then Nick. <laughs> oh boy. YouTubers are breathing down my neck. Green flag, green flag. Start for me there. P7. Outside. Still there. Keep running. All right, got inside a guy. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Cross me over. Still there at the bottom. Thank you. Clear. Inside. Stay high at the car. Oh, I've ended up on the outside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold your line. Still there, inside. P9. Clear inside, inside. Stay high. Clear. Car inside. That was scary. Still inside. Use it hot. Keep high. Clear inside. Trying to do everything to not be stuck in the outside here. Keep high. Still there at the bottom. Shoot. We got space behind. I'm just gonna let him go so I can get back down there. Good save, George. Clear inside. Alright. So that stunk, we got hit by a train. <laughs> but back, see the file. And eleventh. That was sweaty. <laughs> Still only about halfway to last to go. Surprised by how well these tires are hanging on. He's having trouble in front of us. I don't want to run him over, but... He might be getting tight. We're halfway in the race. That's halfway. All right. Ooh, he got tight right there, but I'm not close enough to be able to capitalize. P11. I just, I, I don't know how to get around him. He's slow through the middle, but I don't know how to get by him if that's the case. He's holding the bottom line well. You've just 
Losing some ground. Okay, Colton. That time's pretty consistent. Bit of a tap on the straightaway. Tabasco. Parking at mid corner. We're gonna get past from behind if I can't get around this guy. Just don't know how to do short track passes, I don't think. Me having hit the brakes mid corner like that is making me really loose. Got nothing. Oh, I overdrove. That's not good. I need to watch my own line and not watch him because I feel like I'm uh, mimicking what I see too much instead of just driving my own line. Well, I might just end up falling back rather than moving forward at this point. End of the wall. I stink. Your lap time was at 21.6. Car inside. Stay high. Great, here we go again. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold your line. Grand front is Baker, 13th place. Clear, inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. The car inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Oh no, they have an accident. 
behind us. Not sure what happened there, but we benefit from it no longer being railroaded anymore. Whatever. Stuck on the outside. And now we got some space behind us too to calm down. Go back to hit my marks. All right, I just need to breathe at this point. Back to hitting some laps I know I can hit. It's a caution. Alright, I'm actually going to put my brake bias up a tiny bit. So I'm getting too loose right now. Just a couple clicks. So that run didn't go too well for us. But that's okay. Good race, my guys. Yep, good race, number one. This is turning out very well, though. Um, there's been a couple of cautions, but we've had plenty of green running, too. Three is not too many, and six, 96 laps. That's pretty good. Joe, that's my fault. I tried backing out last one up. Talking about uh, what happened behind us, I think. Unless something else also happened. How about the same guy going into the other one? Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Can I have 57 coming higher? Here, okay, guys, get one. All right, so lucky dog should be coming through here in a moment. Closed. Pit road is closed. We're halfway home. We estimate 23 minutes of fuel left. This is pretty good, though. I, I hope this is uh, exactly what Nick was wanting, because this seems like pretty good short track racing to me. One Got lots of green three. running. It's okay, tough to pass, Gary, but um, not lap. impossible. Alright, what's going on here? It's like a roadblock. I don't know if we're going to be uh, ready. Get ready, going green. This thing goes. Lappers are still not quite back there yet. Green flag, green flag. Back to it. Car still feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like horribly tight or anything. It was a little bit loose for me, but I changed that brake bias. I think that helps a little bit. It's just getting a little bit too loose on braking. So few mistakes being made by people. It's hard to do anything. That means we have some good racers, so. Need some time mid corner there. Car inside. Stay high. Okay, we get hit. Clear inside. That's not on me, I was driving my line. They want you in single file. Pit Road is closed right now. We think Edda has been dead. Pit Road's open. I'm guessing he spun himself trying not to wreck me after he made that move. I'm not just going to move out of my lane though, um, just because you dive it in there. 
I, I don't know how I didn't get spun there. But I held my ground. He went to the apron. Maybe expecting it to scare me up, but it did not. And then you know, he tried to abort mission. <laughs> I think that's what ended up uh, making him spin. But I'll have to take a look at it later, too. Maybe I'm interpreting wrong. I'm sure it'll show up in the incidents. Have come now, everyone. Some more lucky dog action going on. I wish I were doing a little bit better, but gotta keep within myself here. You know, I'm not the greatest at these short tracks. <laughs> These short cautions are very nice, I will say that. Nick's being aggressive with them, and it gets us back racing real quick. Get ready, going green. The pace right, car is off, be, be ready. ready. We're going green. Weird going on here. Very weird restarts. I don't know, is it maybe that's normal here? Maybe that's what restarts usually look like here because of the way the track is, but seems pretty strange. Could see more cautions as this thing winds down, guys uh, making moves. Top times are pretty consistent. Ooh, up the track. This is a chance for us. Now he gets uh, enough of a runoff. Did a little bit of a fake, maybe get him thinking, but nah. Nothing doing. Uh, 21.1 Track position is so key Passing is just so hard Oh, that's another caution somewhere in the back, I guess. Mm. I don't know what that was. I don't know why, why you're mad at me, but whatever. Got me? All right. Probably not a good idea to do angry stuff here. So that sounds like a good way to not be a... <laughs> let back into the next league race. I have a feeling Nick's gonna have a very short fuse with any retaliatory or any action that's gonna bring out a caution. If they enjoy being here, I don't think. Don't advise them to be playing around with that too much. Why don't you Why fellas don't you need, to, we need to pressure Mitch to make him use his tires? Not too surprising Mitch is in first. Very hard pass right now. 
Uh, just that one mistake I made with Joe, uh, killed my tires, I felt bad, <laughs> I just went in too deep. I don't feel like my wall hit has, uh, hurt my car at all, but I could be wrong. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Get ready, going green. Postcard is on, time to do your job. Start? Almost feels like dirt oval restarts. We got side by side up there. Oh, I think I saw some contact. It's getting crazy. Watched up bad. It's like there's nothing we can do. Bit of a wall tap. You've just done a twenty one point two. I'm pushing too hard. It's not doing me any favors, I just have to be smooth. That's good consistency, keep it up. Your last lap time was at 21.2. They're coming down to the end of it pretty soon here. Approaching 25 to go. Short track, that's not too much. Loose. <laughs> Very loose. That lap was at twenty one point two. Check up. You feel the pressure rising. I'm getting so loose now in the corner. The lap time was at 21.4.
Time was 21.3. I'm trying different things and it's not working. This guy is right up my rear end. The car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still inside. Clear I'm inside. I'm too loose. I gotta let him go. Clear inside. P14. That lap time was 21.9. Alright. Lost a spot. I need to... What I need to be doing is remaining calm. It's me getting all sideways and loose that caused me to lose that spot. He's running away now though. He was nice and patient with me, despite being clearly faster. So appreciate him for that. Sorry for being slow. Stuck behind my... slow. A slow disaster of himself. Let me fall him back. Ooh, he's getting real sideways. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm a mess. I, I don't have much control of this car anymore, to be honest with you. You've just done a 21.5. B14. I wish I could change my brake bias right now, but I don't. I wouldn't lose more time trying to reach for that than I would gain by being better with the brakes. I gotta try to keep this other guy behind me. I don't know if it's gonna happen because I'm all over the place. So close to looping this thing. I have no rear tires. Car inside. Clear. Okay. At least I didn't crash. Sixteenth place. The gap to Graham in front is now 0.7. You've just done that. 22.6. Okay, Colton. Ten Still there. Few remaining. Clear. Tires are gone. I can't control this thing, man. I thought it was the right front that was going to be the problem. Single file. Pit road is closed right now. Sorry, 37. I went in too deep. Pass the pace car. I got racing, guys. I disagree. Uh oh, Joe's not having a fun time. <laughs> we don't even get to pass that guy because he got going before we got there. Not that I had much chance of holding anyone off. I'm at the map, Joe. I mean, it's the second time I've been dumped into turn three. 
Martin, there was not it's much not I could do there. I was in the corner and you were already slowing up. I mean, if I had stopped, I would have gotten ready. There wasn't a lot I could do there. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. All right, 10 to go. I was already committed to the bottom by that time, so I really not lost. I'm really just struggling to hold on at this point. On the outside. Dog, come around the top. 13, outside. Left us 13, carbine. Pit road is closed. At 37 has some damage. I wonder if that's going to affect them enough. One left to green. Be a problem here. Maybe we'll be able to get past them, but who knows? Yeah, that was fun battle with uh, you and the 15 there, Martin. But like I said, there was not much I could do there. I was already ready. Going green. The pace car is coming Be ready. Hmm. <sighs> We're having to do a corner on a restart like that. <laughs> there are green white checkers, I believe. Nick wanted this thing to end under green flag conditions, so he has a bunch of them, if I remember correctly. Seven's defending with his broken car. And he wrecks him. I'm sorry, dude. No caution? Okay. Thing. Definitely thought that would have been a caution. Or still quite bad, <laughs> loose, as a goose one might even say. So, um, this is probably where we're going to finish, unless they wreck some more. Oh my god, this thing. Trying to spin on me every corner. Okay, Colton, the next car is Coldwell. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Two more, let's go. Two maps to go. Fresh the wall there, just barely. White flag. No cautions now. Don't we have any last minute dive bombs or something? White flag, last lap. Good consistency. Good lord, this thing is out of control. Great race, guys. That was a good race. <laughs> Alright, well, we survived. That worth, that's worth something. You're running at 24. I had nothing to get in there. Okay, we're done. Check it flag. Ooh, Check it flag. I got a near at the end, guys. Better schedule some testing. We'll get them next time. Hey, park it. Really sorry I turned you there, Martin. I thought I had more distance to be able to break. Alright.
One one. I was kind of messed up from when you uh, hooked me. Yeah, that was terrible. terrible. I spent the whole race. I spent the whole race thinking I was gonna need to. I don't even know how we hooked. Like I was on the outside of you, and we just kind of like kind of like glued together. It's pretty. Be on the right rear. But yeah, I did not mean that intentionally at all. At all. Like I let you around me earlier. I was just trying to race clean. So Mitch gets the win. Not too surprising there. That's probably honestly what made me do that. Just that damage. I'm in second. I don't know. I just got tried backing out last minute. Thanks for mm -hmm. all though, Nick. Thank everybody here. Pretty appreciated oh, that. Seeing what everyone's saying. All right. So we're going to have lots to look through. When it comes to all these bumpers and dumpers, 16th, I could have done better, but uh, got myself a 0x, which is nice. Yikes, some people did not get 0x, but it was a long race, so they do accumulate. But I will take a 16th. Um, I think I would have liked to be in the top half of the field at least. And uh, we were much higher up there for a while, but uh, turns out you don't need to be on the right rear. In fact, you probably don't want to do that. So it should have been easier on the gas pedal. Rather than trying my best to burn the right rear. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go take a look, see what happened. Can't wait to see the other uploads of the race. What have we? Lap one. Assume this is going to be a wall hit. Ooh, a little bit of a bounce off too. Thankfully everyone keeps it straight though. Checking up going on. Everyone figures it out. Too much gonna be uh, going on, I don't think, until we see the cautions. I think for the most part, other than that, we're just gonna see some wall hits. Hopefully not too many for me. I think I had one good wall hit that'll probably show up. Oh, we're not stuck on this guy, are we? Okay, good. Thought we were stuck on him. Okay, this must be the first caution, maybe? So we got the 5 spinning there, and I think the 51... Yeah, honestly, that just looks unrelated. It looks like they just coincidentally both spun at the same time. Not even a sympathy wreck, but <laughs> they just both got loose, and unfortunately the 13 had nowhere to go. So they get a piece of them and send them completely around. Enough, that killed the 51. Oof, that stinks. So that ends that Dodge Cars race. Gavin, get the wall. No. Is the 84? That's uh, he said. He, he said the guy turned down on him. We were not alongside him though, so that's definitely a dumping right there. I do not blame the 30 on that one. Joe, if you're still in here, we just neck coded. That's we literally were inside of each other. Hmm. So that was a caution right there. Got some 55 like, in the wall maybe. Incident where we were out on the outside.
It's all right. I'm going through the end thing. Mm. A little bit of net code there. Take it into each other. I'm going <laughs> to... I spent the whole... Nice. Thank you. Needed to be on the rear. Oops. <laughs> What's happening? And it's broken? Oh, it's because I'm I've got that selected. So we got some more wall hits. I'm worn out, man. These long races. I never really do long races like this. Except for the rare NIS. Some bumpers, bumper cars going on. We figure it out. Ooh, yeah, this is what they were talking about, or what we saw. So it looks like 22 dive bombs, and uh, 42 thinks he's gonna get smoked. And so he corrects it, but just a little bit, you know, he like dives out of the way, but just a little bit too much. That gets him flipped over. Wow, I didn't see that part. Holy cow. Up and over. That's a hard hit. Yikes. A lap 68. Still not too much going on. Ooh, 17 off, or the 47 off the wall a little bit right there. So they get into the 48. It turns into the 47. They've they're having some real heavy contact racing going on. Ooh, chain reaction there from a guy getting on the wall, bouncing off each other. It's awesome. Nick says it went so much better than he thought it would. Ooh, that's a heavy hit of the wall. 48 there. That's a car breaker. Oh no! I've been caught on film hitting the wall. That was a pretty heavy hit too. And I'm all over the place. My tires are so bad already, even at this point. Fives. Trying to get alongside them, but ends up kind of just hitting the back of them there. This car. Oh, that was net code. That made that worse than it needed to be. So I was a little worried I had something to do with this because this guy was on the inside of me and I was really trying to not to, to clear him. I was trying to clear him and I didn't want to just cut in front of him. So I had the second lane and thankfully he got loose. But unfortunately, they. Top 10 invert for the rest of the season. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Mitch has created a new rule. Top 10 invert for the rest of the season. <laughs> Let's go!
That's funny. So, oh, they got into each other again up there? Six really just drove it in on him. That looked like it took him out. Maybe not happy with how they're being raced. Who knows? Lappers need to start working to the rear right away. No one is bidding. Next time, please give up. Yeah, I'm talking about the lappers not being uh, in the back right away. Nick wants the cautions to be real fast, and people are not quite used to having to get all of that done right away. So, uh, 76 needs to hold the brakes. Gets the 18 because he's rolling down the track. I'm sure he's mad though, and it's easy to say in retrospect, but when you're in the moment. What happened here? Oh yeah, this was the guy running into me. Yeah, he's look at he's a whole full car length back. There's no reason he needs to be on the inside of me there. I just was running my line and he came up and got me. And it was really the grass that sent him around. Sent him around. In the end, because he gets sideways, but it's him getting his left side to the grass that does it. Finishes him off. Definitely for like a first try in a test season, this went very, very well. Alright, we got people running into each other under caution. That's not brilliant. That's just not paying attention. What I do here? I sliding everywhere. <laughs> I, know, I only hit the wall the one time though. Just my tires getting worse. Hmm. 85 just doesn't turn into the corner there, it looks like. Yeah, that's strange. You just kind of never turned in. So 48's not going to be invited back, I assume. I don't know why he even did that. What's he mad at the 13 for? No clue. He certainly wasn't even part of that wreck. Did he, like, not even... I don't know what that was. So he's driving into that guy. I kind of hope this guy doesn't get invited back. Sorry, but... Not only were you the leader in incidents, but you're making some really questionable decisions here. Like, I don't know what this is. It's like he's trying to get back at him, but he's getting back at the wrong guy or something. Like, I don't know what's going on here. That's weird. Ooh, tight racing there. Mitch making horrible mistakes as always. I mean, look at that. Just truly amateurish. Just obviously kidding. Guy dominated the race. So, me being new to this track, I, I think, and being less experienced with this car, 
I think really affected me because I was spinning the horse thinking I needed to be on the right rear or else it was going to get tight when in reality I should have been saving the right rear because it was wearing more than the right front and I just didn't expect that and that's what got me such a horrible right rear and I lost so many spots later in the race because of not having any grip anymore Oh, he's gone. I was just gonna say thanks. Man, he's just like, see ya, and immediately left. But coming down to the end of this thing, lap 127, we just got a little bit of a wall brush there. There's me sliding everywhere and uh, just having to let the 88 by. He's sliding pretty bad too, though. But uh, he's on the inside of me here, and there's just nothing I can do. I'm, I'm basically dirt tracking in every corner at this point. So I just had to back off there. So coming to the end of this thing. Yeah, it's getting sideways a bit. Gathers it up. There's Nick. Maybe following someone through for a spot. Not sure. They're racing real close. That's for sh that's for sure. They're all up in the around the top five right here. Good racing they're having. I bet that was a lot of fun up there. Guys that are really good at this. <laughs> Mitch just doing Mitch things though. So. Driving away. Forty-eight into the wall, turning down and hitting the seventy-six. That's Joe. I didn't even notice that was Joe this whole time. I, I didn't recognize that paint scheme. Side by side here. 84 is turning down just a bit much. Pinching him too much. Looked like. Five on the wall. Ooh, Gavin on the wall a little bit. He got really pinched by the 30 there, so you almost didn't really even have a choice. Oh. This was this the wreck that wasn't a wreck or no, I remember I had to get around something like that at one point. Oof. Was this a caution? I can't remember. I think it was a caution. So that's what that was. It's restarting. There's me. I believe this is the corner upcoming right here where 47 takes out the guy. Nope. Happens soon though. That's it. It's the same corner, I believe. I don't know why we saw it twice. Or even once. Is this your card? Yes, it is. So I had to dodge that. Thankfully, I was able to maneuver around it. It's one more spot than I would have gotten. Thankfully, I was able to get the car slowed down enough and maneuver around the outside without hitting the wall or anything. Not that I think even a small wall touch would have made much of a difference, but... Gavin here in 8th, with approaching 5 laps to go. Joe's up the track. How did that happen? Just missed the corner. Probably... Oh, trying to not be side by side with this. The 69 down there, probably, trying to fight on the outside. He's having a rough one, I think. Having just a baby tap of the wall. He's got uh, some right rear looseness, looks like. Not nearly as much as I had, I'm sure, but 
Seems like most other people had their right ears in the 40s. Somewhere around there. And this is Mitch coming to the checkered. Celebratory uh, wall touch. Anything interesting happening on these final corners? 57 gassed it up real hard. And guys just uh, messing around afterward it looks like. So that was it. That was the very first race of the K5 Championship Season 0. Um, I could have done better, but then again, I didn't really expect too much with short track racing. Um, I could have done better if I knew to not kill the right rear on purpose. <laughs> I'm supposed to be saving the right rear, and I spent the whole time killing it on purpose. That's probably a good way to not finish well. But, you know, 16th, just mid-pack, and you got to remember, that's 16th of 28, but... Also, kind of, it's 16 of 60, so I uh, can't feel too bad about that. Um, I'll get some points, I guess, in the championship. I'll have to review again how the points work, but it was a fun time. Um, I got the race up in the top 10 for a little bit before I started sabotaging myself, got stuck in the outside, killed my right rear. But we survived. We had a 0x race. I didn't kill anyone. Lots of good good to take out of this. And uh, certainly learned a lot about this car. About this track that I've never been to before until today. <laughs> so, um, lots to learn from it. Like I said, it was had some fun. Learned some stuff. And uh, I can't wait for, for next week. Where I can finish mediocre again, probably. <laughs> But uh, really looking forward to Nick and Gavin and whoever else's uploads of it. I know Joe has got a channel. I'm sure there's tons of channels in here. So check out as many of you as you can. It's lots of fun. So thanks for watching my perspective. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.